What's up, everybody? This is the Tech Preacher. So welcome to Techtober. So Apple just had the October event and dropped some new products and services. So we're going to get into it. I got a whole bunch of notes and my thoughts about the event. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So Apple's not slowing down. This is their second event in 2021. And this event was all about music services and the new MacBook Pros that we've been waiting on. So we've been waiting on these new MacBook Pros with these new high-end processors. The rumors is all coming to a head with this. All right, so Apple announced the new music services that's called Voice Plane. $4.99 will give you the full Apple Music Library with Siri, which is, Nice little cost savings, right? With these new features, which allow you to use your voice to play music. So that's a nice feature that Apple brought here to the table. Let's get into it. Next, uh, Apple announced the new HomePod Mini, uh, which comes in some new colors that cost 99 bucks. Again, a new look here. Uh, if you want some extra colors, if you wanted to get a HomePod Mini. All right, next, they announced the new AirPods third generation with spatial audio that delivers, that has new drivers that deliver better bass, better highs, and give you better better life. Six hours of better life, they, they claim it, and up to 30 hours of better life with the case at 179 bucks. But they also keep it the older generation and dropping that price. So if you want some AirPods, go on and get them. This is gonna be great. All right, so we got the prelims out the way. All right, the prelims is out the way. Let's talk about the Mac. So Apple announced a new MacBook Pro, 14 inch and 16 inch. Look, these are the MacBooks that everybody been waiting on with the newer processors, the newer GPUs. Let's talk about it. Apple announced the new M1 Pro processor with the five nanometer processor, uh, which has a 10 core G CPU and a 16 core GPU that would deliver you fast performance. I mean, maxed out RAM configurated at about 32 gigs. Uh, I mean, and next Apple is dropping a very fast SSD in the new Macs, which even faster read and write speeds. So that is good. Next, Apple uh, added a ProRes encoder for better performance. So if you use uh, ProRes, this is great for you also. And one of the unique features that uh, Apple is bringing to the, to the new Macs is the ability to get the same performance on battery. So this is extraordinary. Usually we use a laptop and you uh, use the battery only. The performance is cut in half. And look, the crazy thing about it, the, no, the new M1 Pro chip will fit most of filmmakers' needs and everybody else's needs, right? But if you wanna be the ultimate user and you need all the power, Apple announced the new M1 Max chip that delivers even faster performance with a 10 core uh, CPU and a 32 core GPU and up to 64 gigs of RAM. And it has the newer SSD uh, will be the ultimate powerhouse for high-end filmmakers and people that need all that power in a small package. So that is great. But let's talk about this display. Let's get the elephant out the room. It was rumored that this display would have a notch. And yes, the new MacBooks have a notch. And look, I am not a fan of a notch on a computer, uh, but Apple added a notch, which totally sucks. Uh, but look, the software and dark wallpapers will hide the notch. Next, Apple added a ProMotion XDR display that gives you up to 120 hertz, which is great. This is the first Mac that does this. Uh, and uh, since it's XDR, you can get a, up to 1,000 nits of sustained brightness and 1,600 nits of peak brightness. So that is very bright displays. That's going to be very good, especially for pro users. Next, uh, they've given us a 1080p camera, finally, a wide angle lens, 1080p uh, camera. I guess that's why we have the notch. So the footage that you're going to get out of the 1080p is going to be great, right? Uh, next, they give you better audio. They're adding six speakers uh, with spatial audio for the good, you know, audio experience. 
So Apple has delivered a great machine this time around and listening to their pro users uh, and adding much needed ports back that we all wanted, such as HDMI. Uh, you get three Thunderbolt 4 ports. You get an SD card slot back. You get a 3.5 millimeter jack. You get MagSafe. And man, they took away the touch bar and gave, uh, gave us a traditional Apple keyboard, which is outstanding. Look, we all know that Apple Silicon is beating everything out there when it comes down to Intel. So I think these machines are gonna be very good, especially if you're a filmmaker, content creator, or some type of editor or something like that, and you need a pro machine, these are going to be the machines to get. As far as the price, we all know that this price was gonna be extremely high. The 14 inch MacBook is gonna start off at 19.99. The 16 inch MacBook Pro is gonna be 24.99. I'm sure that the price will go up as you add more features. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited about the new Macs? This is pro machines for pro users. So, I, you know, the average consumer is probably not gonna spend $3,000 on these type of machines, but the pro users is waiting on these type of machines. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell when I drop all my content about the new Macs or everything else in between. And don't forget Wired Wednesday, where we're going to talk deep down dirty about what's good, what's bad with the new Max. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.